966H I got a parking brake issue Clean. I'm gonna assemble it back. Okay. We completed the installation of the parking brake. It is in here. Now the problem was they over grease and the grease spoils in the shoe. Now the shoe has lost the holding ability. So we are going to adjust it now to release the parking brake the parking brake now that is in engaged position so we're gonna adjust it in a release position we're gonna see around 10 mm gap we need 5 8 tools uh, long screwdriver The, the brake is in release position it should be free as you can see it's too uh, too much free so I need to take a gap I just uh, give Engage first gear, then you engage second time. See, still needs. Should not move at third speed around 1,500 RPM. Yeah, it's moving. So. Should not move in that. Now it's engaged. Let's see.
Kalau speed disini net mode. adjustment you can see the adjusting there and we go just now of the machine this is the ladder where your accumulator uh, filter pressure tops are located and above this uh, ladder you got the parking brake control valve this is the sensor that I'm talking about the one and the valve itself there are two lines that connected to that port there's a tank port and the pressure port that is going through your brake And this parking brake control valve was connected where your knob from the cabin are connected with the cable. And there is an adjusting uh, procedure how you adjust the cable to correct adjustment. So this is your parking brake actuator, spring inside, and there's the chamber for oil inside. Once you engage the parking brake, you are releasing pressure from the oil chamber. Therefore, your spring force will push that linkage that is holding your brake shoe so the brake shoe here is the stationary part of the parking brake that is mounted in the frame and the drum is a rotating part that is connected to your shop over here the problem with the machine that we fixed just this morning is that they overgrease the bearing the bearing here needs to be greased but in a normal greasing procedure never over grease the moment you over grease you're gonna pop the seal on the shop and the grease excess grease will flow through your brake drum and your brake shoes Yes, good morning. Let's discuss the Caterpillar parking brake system. Okay, I'm in the cabin of this Cat 966H. Caterpillar designed the parking brake system for this to keep your machine safe while you're in parking. By the name itself, parking brake, that means it's just the brake that is applied when the machine is in stop so every time your machine in stop position this is your parking brake in the brake actuator you will see it's a chamber with the spring inside and there's a oil chamber area but once the pressure comes in this oil pressure will push the spring tension inside and that allows your parking brake shoe will to disengage from the brake drum therefore you are releasing the parking brake so cut design the parking system for 966 in a safe way to keep the machine safe and a misapplication scenario like for example once your parking brake pressure is decreased below 1400 
you're gonna see an action alarm that indicates that your parking brake is engaged why because your parking brake mechanism is mechanically engaged and it is hydraulically released that's the safety design of cut for parking system so to explain how this knob is a cable this is connected directly to your parking brake control bulb on the right side of your machine here behind that uh, leather area there is a bulb and at the end of the bulb there is a pressure switch that pressure switch will tell that he got the pressure and then he reads it uh, if it's below 1490 psi that pressure will tell the sensor that there is no enough pressure therefore the parking brake mechanism the spring the jump in the actuator is still not released once you activate your parking brake you're gonna pull this lever up that moves your spool in your parking brake control bulb allowing the pressure to return back to the, to the tank now when there is no pressure the spring force in the actuator is too strong the cracking pressure for that spring is 3300 psi and it starts to crack at 2400 so the parking brake release pressure normally for 966 is seated around 2800 psi okay so for safety don't use parking brake while you are moving caterpillar machine was designed to manage that scenario that is why the sensor is put in place the sensor will send signal to the ecm that the pressure is not enough or this is the brake system was engaged not allowing the transmission to shift in any gear either forward or reverse but during test there is a procedure to do it how you gonna move the machine with parking engaged uh, like for example testing procedure so you need to move the machine while your parking brake is engaged so the trick is engage your lever put your lever to first gear and move it forward for the first time then the audible sound will say that your parking brake is engaged because you activate your parking brake but the moment you cycle the operation again for the second time first forward that's the time the transmission knows that you are testing your brake and he will allow the transmission to shift but normally when your normal operation the ECM will detect the moment you shift forward the first time and your parking brake knob is in activate position your transmission will not shift to either forward or reverse so that is how caterpillar designed the, the programming on the ECM regarding brake application for the parking brake we are talking only parking brake here the system that keeps your machine safe in a stop position it is very important that your parking brake is working because in so many cases you need to go down from the machine and you are not in the level ground or even when you are in the level ground your machine gonna roll so that's why parking brake must be always in a working condition and don't allow the machine to work with faulty parking brake that's a hazard especially in the mining I will go downside I'm gonna discuss to you and show to you the components that I'm talking about the sensor the parking brake control bulb the actuator the drum the shoe where's the location Finally